Hi, this is 7 Envy here, bringing you Jungle Malphite without Smite. Malphite is very durable in the jungle without Smite, and he can su successfully jungle without Smite. So let's talk about his spells. He has Granite Shield as his passive, basically gives you 10% of your max HP as a little shield, and once it breaks, it just breaks. But it's great for keeping yourself in the jungle and giving you a little HP boost. So then for his Q, Seismic Shard, basically that's his ganking spell. I get that at level 4. In this jungling route, I stay a little bit more in the jungle than more ganking because I don't have smite to increase my speed. But it's still workable. NW, Brutal Strikes basically, I'm going to get that second. The extra auto attacks that give you pretty much a Tiamat effect. It's great and also the armor boost. Helps you get more durability in the jungle and also helps your damage out on your ground slam. Ground slam is your key jungling spell. It basically it gets, does great damage with armor runes and you're going to start off the cloth armor as well. And the attack speed reduction reduces the damage from golem, lizard, dragon greatly because of the attack speed debuff. So here you're just going to go ahead and get a cloth armor. 5 HP potions Going. and for this jungling guide I'm using a full armor rune page with HP quints. Malphite is very independent when it comes to jungling without smite. You're gonna pick up flat armor reds, flat armor blues, and flat armor yellows and you just can get HP quintessences. Okay. And as you notice, I have Fortify. You don't need Fortify, but it's, it helps when it comes to jungling. And I already spec in the defense tree with Malphite, so might as well pick Fortify. It's great for Keaton. So here, you can use your Ground Slam in here. Make sure you get your Ground Slam and all three of these. And when your shield breaks, make sure to pop an HP potion. So basically, you're just gonna keep on using your Ground Slam. So like I said, he's rune dependent when you don't have smite because you need the full armor and also the HP. And after this, Malphite comes out with quite a bit of HP. Just gonna pop another HP potion. And generally when you want to go to the next jungling creeps, you want to make sure your shield's up so you don't lose too much HP. So here I'm just gonna pop my W and E. I should have popped my W earlier so my E could do more damage, but you can vary it up a bit. So here I'm not going to pop an HP potion yet because I don't need to. Yes. I'm just going to head to Wraith. Here. I should have waited until I had enough mana to use my Grand Slam. Basically you want to try and position yourself to a Ground Slam and your Brutal Strikes can hit all the units. Notice how I'm going to go over here and auto attack and bring the Lizard to here. So that my W can affect all the units. Even though it's not even affecting that one. But after this you can head down to Golems. This is a good time to tell your teammates to stop pushing bottom or mid. Or let them get close to your own turret is going to come in for a gank. So then here you're just going to head on to the golems. So like I said, I picked up Fortify and Ghost. Basically 21 in defense and 9 in offense. I mean utility, sorry. So basically, you're just gonna get the Fortify Ghost Mastery. So here you can start your ganking. You can just go in here. You have Red and Seismic Shard. And you can Ghost if you want to. But if you don't want to gank, you can continue jungling. 
though I don't have any HP potions, I can snag the enemy's golem. And then probably go back. So let's talk a little bit about builds for Malphite. Generally what I like building is I like building gold. It's a great item. It helps Malphite in armor, which helps his ground slam. And also gives him HP, which also helps his passive. So usually I like to pick up two Heart of Golds, and then I'll probably pick up a Banshees, depending on their team. But usually nowadays there are a lot of magic users, you know, AoE teams. So Banshees isn't a bad idea. But what an amazing item I think for Malphite is, would have to be a Glacial Shroud. What it gives Malphite, it gives him armor, mana, and cooldown reduction. In my opinion, that's all he needs. Pretty much to jungle and to do well. The cooldown reduction makes him able to use his ground stem and the mana. I find that Malphite has mana problems with a low mana base. So when there's another jungler, you might have problems in the jungle because you might be always running out of mana. So what my typical builds, like if a perfect game, everything is going fine, I'll probably build a heart of gold, a heart of gold, perhaps a sunfire because sunfire is a nice item for him as well. And then depending on how focused their AP is, I'll work into a banshee, or if they don't have too much AP, sure. then I'll go get my Glacial Shroud, and if they're like more like users like Twitch based on attack speed, I'll go ahead and get a Frozen Heart, but generally what I like to do is get Mercury Treads just because I like the extra magic resist because I don't like walking around with no magic resist because some magic can still hurt. So generally what you want to build with Malphite is armor, HP, basic he's a I built him a tank, but like people built him DPS. But I don't think it works too well anymore because his brutal strikes works with his armor as well. But for Malphite, you should make sure you keep your eye on the lanes, make sure you're ganking. Half the job of the jungler is to gank, not just stay in the jungle and farm. Cause you want to gank, just to like get the surprise, and you also have red buff. I'm moving as so, fast as I can. there's not much I can show you in this Malphite guide. I can probably snake dragon for you, but my golem's gonna run out, so I'm just gonna head over to my golem. Yes. So basically, what you want to do now, is gank, get dragon. You don't want to stay in the jungle farming too much, but you can still farm a bit. But that's the mistake that most junglers use. They think that jungling is just for one individual jungler to get as much EXP as possible when he should be ganking as well. Your jungler should know when to gank and how to gank. So here you're just going to head over to Dragon. So I got 3 into my ground slam, just because I like the extra damage and also the attack speed reduction. Also helps when it comes to stuff like Dragon. So whenever you want, you can use your fortify. Something's getting pushed and you want to use your fortify, then you can go ahead and use it. So here you're going to pop your W and then your E. You don't want to use your Q just in case if somebody comes, you just want to slow them. So I generally like to keep it. And your Q also doesn't do too much damage, so try to avoid using it on Dragon. And also, if everything goes wrong, you still have your ultimate. You can always just use your ultimate to get out of Dragon. So yeah. Off dragon. Uh, 
So hope you like watching this Malphite jungling guide. And maybe you guys will jungle with Malphite without Smite. Thanks for watching.